Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, Scorpio, these messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is also timeless. So, whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy. Get you some overall messages. Spirit, give me some messages for Scorpio. What is... I'm hearing answers. So some of you could be seeking answers to a specific situation, but I'm hearing the answers are coming. Give me another energy for Scorpio. Well, give me some energy, period. <laughs> but Scorpio, what is the energy for Scorpio here? Oh, fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. All right. So some of you could be operating out of the energy of fear. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So yeah, for some of you, you can need to forgive someone here. Or you could be seeking forgiveness from a particular energy. Yeah, let's go bottom of the deck. After that is worry. So yeah, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So yeah, some of you could be worried about someone forgiving you here. You could be fearful about stepping forward and making an apology. Let's go ahead and tap in. Or this could be someone fearing coming forth and apologizing to you. Give me some energy for Scorpio. What is the message? Spirit, what is the messages for Scorpio? Okay. I have the high priestess in the reverse. Pisces energy. So somebody um, could not be listening to their intuition here. Trusting their inner compass. Give me another energy for Scorpio. What is the message? What is the message for Scorpio? Okay. Oh, Scorpio, look at you coming out in your reading. The Tower. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So there is something shocking here that is going to happen or that could have already happened. For some of you, this could be past tense. But whatever this situation is, whatever this Tower is, it gave someone the courage to move forward or it will. Yeah, to move on here. Give me another energy for Scorpio. What is the message? Another energy for Scorpio. What is the message, spirits? Okay. Oh, the moon. Pisces. Cancerian energy heavy on the Pisces. I feel like there's definitely some things that are hidden that is shocking. Yeah, some. I'm hearing shocking news. Why is the high priestess here in the reverse? What is the message? Why is the high priestess here in the reverse for Scorpio? What is the energy? Okay, ooh, the Four of Swords. Give me another energy on the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? What is the message? Okay, ooh, the Eight of Swords. So, someone is definitely stuck in their head here. Yeah, something deals with the subconscious. That's what I'm hearing, the subconscious mind. Give me an energy on the Four of Swords. Something could happen in someone's dream state. Why is the Four of Swords here? What is the message? Why is the Four of Swords here for Scorpio? What is the energy? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah. It's kind of like somebody's going like back and forth here. But it's like this is happening in someone's dream state. It's almost like somebody's like under some type of hypnosis. Why is the Eight of Swords here? What is the message? Like some type of energetic hypnosis. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Scorpio? What is the message? What is the energy? Yep, yeah, the hangman. Pisces, listen, Pisces heavy. Somebody definitely has a highly aspected here. Um, but yeah, it's like somebody's trying to keep someone stuck in their head, trying to like block off someone's intuition. Yeah, but something happens when somebody's asleep. So for some of you, this could be um, done during your sleeping hours. Yeah, somebody could be um, manipulating some energy here because something does deal with like hypnotize, like some type of hypnosis. Somebody could actually be in some type of trance here, like in a trance state. 
somebody could not be like in their right mind or could feel like they are like out of themselves having some type of out of body experience give me some energy on the tower why is the tower here for scorpio what is the message okay the five of cups in the reverse and the six of cups so for some of you this tower is concerning family, somebody you have a family with, somebody you have a past with. Yeah, it's like for some of you with the Five of Cups, this is somebody that you've already gotten over or that you're currently getting over. Give me an energy on the Five of Cups in the reverse. Wow, the King of Cups. So yeah, somebody's healed. Yeah, you've healed from this past situation already. Give me another energy on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here for Scorpio? What is the message? Wow, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody you had a family with. Yeah, you closed out a cycle with this person. You healed. You moved on. But still, somebody's trying to affect your self-conscious here, Scorpio. Literally, somebody's trying to do something. Um, something also has to do with your waking hours. But somebody's definitely trying to do something in your sleep, in your dreams. Um, somebody could be trying to tap into your crown chakra here, or this is something that you're doing. Give me another energy on the Ace of Wands. The Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody's frustrated. Yeah, like somebody don't know what to do. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Scorpio? Okay. Ooh, the Sun in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody could, um, be going through some type of depression. Yeah, somebody's not happy. Somebody is miserable, literally. For some of you, this person is miserable. They're upset because you moved on. Why is the Five of Swords here for Scorpio? What is the message? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's worried about what they've invested in, what they've been giving to, what they've been wasting time, money, energy on. Why is the sun here in the reverse? Leo energy on the sun. What is the message? Why is the sun here in the reverse for Scorpio? Wow, justice. Yeah, somebody's not happy with how things are balancing out for them. Libra energy on justice. Yeah, somebody's not satisfied with the situation. Give me another energy on the sun. Why is the sun here for Scorpio? What is the message? Yep, the three of wands. Yeah, things are not moving forward in your life or this other energy's life and somebody's upset about this they're sad yeah give me another energy on the moon why is the moon here for scorpio what is the message why is the moon here for scorpio wow the knight of wands so somebody has some secret passions for you secret desires here Give me another energy for the moon. Why is the moon here for Scorpio? What is the message? Wow, the five of pentacles. So for some of you, I'm getting like somebody could have desired for you to be in lack, for you to be in the five of pentacles. Like somebody was secretly praying on your downfall. Yeah. Somebody was secretly trying to have you in a state of lack. Give me energy on the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And somebody definitely tried to affect your crown, your dream state as well. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Scorpio? What is the message? Why is the Knight of Wands here? What is the energy? Scorpio, you know, flip it if you have to. This could be a Scorpio that's doing this. The world, yeah. It's like somebody was like very happy. They were very much um, enthusiastic to create endings for you. Somebody wanted things to end. Um, the world, Leo, Scorpio, your energy, Taurus and Aquarius. Yeah, for some of you, yeah, somebody wanted your stability to end. And they were very, like, gong-ho about this. They were very passionate about this here. Yeah, like somebody secretly desired for you to fail. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? What is the message? 
Lots of five of pentacles here. What is the energy? Yeah, for some of you, this is somebody who you've already gotten over, um, who you were in a relationship with. Lots of five of pentacles here. For some of you, you are married to this person. Give me energy on the five of pentacles. Okay. Ooh, be the eight of pentacles. I feel like for some of you, I'm getting two messages. You overcame this situation by working harder like somebody had to really work harder to overcome the things that were thrown at them energetically somebody definitely sent you a lot of evil eye as well i'm also getting that this person worked hard behind the scenes to ensure that you were in the five of pentacles but again you overcame that by just putting in more effort Give me an energy on the world. Why is the world here? Yep, the full Aquarius energy. It's like somebody was able to take a leap of faith. Somebody trusted themselves. Despite what was hidden. Danger seen and unseen. That's what I'm getting. Give me another energy on the world. Why is the world here? Yeah, somebody don't moved on fully. Somebody has a new lease on life. Why is the world here? You have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you, this is somebody that you went back to. Yeah. That you closed the cycle out with and you went back to this person. Give me an energy on the Fool. Why is the fool here for Scorpio? What is the message? For some of you, you don't know why you went back to this person. It's because this person was manipulating energy. This person, something happened when you dream. Somebody was affecting your dream state. Yep. Clarifying the fool, the magician. Yes, yeah, so this is what happened here, Scorpio. So whoever you were in this relationship with, in this commitment with, they were doing things energy related so that you would keep coming back to them. It's like you could never move on from... To, from <laughs> you could never move on. Thank you, spirit. Getting my words together. You can never move on from this person. It's like you always kept taking a leap of faith right back in their direction. You could never get over this person. You kept going back. And you ain't understand why. That's because this person, magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, they was manipulating energy so that you could continue coming back to them. Eight of Pentacles, this person worked hard to keep you coming back to them. This person played a lot with the moon cycles as well. It's like with the five of pentacles, when you would leave this person, you would feel depleted. Emotionally, mentally, for some of you spiritually, you will be in the energy of lack and you wouldn't know why. It's like whenever you would leave this person, you would be in this five of pentacles. And that was done by design. This person wanted you to feel like if you were to leave them, then your life would go down. You wouldn't be able to move forward without this person. This person wanted you to be codependent upon them emotionally. So it's like whenever you would walk away, you would feel a sense of loss. And they worked hard to make sure you felt this way whenever you would leave. And so in order for you not to stay in the energy of loss, in the energy of feeling depleted, you will go back to this person. And then all of a sudden things will get better again and life will be grand again. You'll be happy. But it was a facade. It was a whole illusion. This person was manipulating energy so that you could feel this way. Like this person wanted you to feel like they're the only ones that can make you happy. Like if you were to leave them, then your life would go nowhere. Bad things that happen. You wouldn't be able to have any type of success without them. You would be at a loss by walking away. 
So it's like the only way that you could be in this um, good energy, the only way that you could feel whole is by being in a relationship with them. That's what this person did. That's why you kept going back over and over because this person was manipulating energy. They wanted to be the only one you love, the only one that could have you. Yeah, this person kept you kept you coming back. Mm-hmm. And whenever you left, you would immediately fall into a state of sorrow. And I'm keep hearing something about waking hours. So something could have happened during the waking hours as well. But yeah, this person was definitely playing with your mind, your energy. So that you couldn't move on. Three of ones in reverse. You kept coming back. You kept wanting to invest. You kept wanting to give to the situation. It's like you leave them. You'll get sad. You'll get depressed. When you come back, then your energy will pick right back up. This person was doing this, was manipulating you energetically, playing with your emotions, your mental. That's what was happening. Give me an energy for justice. Why is justice here for Scorpio? What is the message? Why is justice here for Scorpio? What is the energy? Yeah, this person kept you in your head a lot, kept you confused, not knowing what to do. Yeah, fear. This person feared you walking away for good, so they wanted to hold on to you for dear life, literally. Why is justice here? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wanted to do this for, yeah. This person wanted this to work for a long time. They've been doing this for a long time and they were going to continue to do this for a long time. They wanted this to last forever, literally. I'm actually hearing Keith Sweat make it last forever. Why is justice here for Scorpio? You have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person wanted you to love them forever. Mm hmm. Yeah, this person I'm hearing um you and nobody else but you. Yeah, this person only wanted you to love them. And they wanted this to last forever. They never wanted this to end. Yeah, somebody wanted you to be their forever person. But they got all of this through ill gain. They got all of this by playing with energy. This wasn't genuine. It wasn't authentic. So that's why you kept going back. That's why you can leave. You can walk away. They was well invested in this. Well invested. Give me an energy on the Ace of Cups. And then I will clarify the Magician and Two of Pentacles. And that will be it, Scorpio. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. For some of you... um. You could have fell in love fast with this person. That's what I'm getting. Like, you fell in love really quick. But again, that was the energy manipulation here. It's like this person wanted you to love them, see nobody but them. You know, wanted you to think they were the greatest thing since sliced bread, literally. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here for Scorpio? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Listen... Every time you will walk away, this person will do something to keep you come back, keep you coming back. It's like you would always take a leap of faith in this person's direction. No matter how many times you walk away, you can walk away 10 times and this person is going to get you to come back every single time. Give me an energy on... The Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What is the message? Yeah, somebody was placed under spell work. That's what this is. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What is the message? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So, regardless of whatever this person did energetically, 
It's like the Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. I mean, this was not who you were meant to build with. If anything, by being with this person, you just took a loss, especially financially for some of you. Give me another energy on the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What is the message? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What is the message? What's the energy? The Seven of Wands. So what I'm getting from this, Scorpio, is for some of you, like, this person did this for money, finances. They wanted to come up off of you. But what they didn't realize is that, like, your Ten of Pentacles, your legacy, your inheritance, your generational wealth was protected. Yeah. For some of you, I'm hearing reading. This person got a reading done on you and they knew what was coming towards you. They knew that you were meant to be very abundant and successful. So they wanted to lay claim to you. But what this person didn't understand is that your Ten of Pentacles was protected. So it's like even though you kept coming back to this person, you always ended up losing. And they couldn't understand why. Because you were supposed to be in this abundant energy. But when you would come back to them, you would start taking losses. And things wouldn't work out for you when it comes to your finances. And that's because your generational wealth is protected. God is not going to give you your Ten of Pentacles if you're with the wrong person. You have to be with the right energy to receive your inheritance. And that's what this person didn't understand. So it don't matter how many times you came back, you were going to continue to take losses each and every time. Because your blessings... What God has in store for you is protected. And no one can have access to it unless God says so. And this person definitely has been denied access because this isn't who you're meant to be with. For some of you, you're meant to build with someone, you know, who God has ordained for you, your counterpart. And this person isn't your counterpart. So you were never going to get to the Ten of Pentacles with this energy. It doesn't matter how much she tried to manipulate you energetically. This Ten of Pentacles was always going to remain in the reverse. Give me an energy on the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Yeah, forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So... Yeah, Scorpio, forgive this person. There's no need to hold on to the situation. Trust me, it was a learning experience for this person. Yeah, it's like this person had to learn. Like, no, you cannot control anyone and you cannot affect anyone's free will. God doesn't even try to do that. You know, this person wanted to be God in your life, but they quickly learned, they quickly learned that no, nobody can be God, but God himself. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles is the Three of Cups. Yeah, so for some of you, you were juggling. Like, this was a third-party situation. But it's like this person, again, they wanted you to stay juggling. For some of you, this person wanted you to continue to um, be promiscuous. I'm hearing hump everything around. Like, for some of you, it's like... You couldn't control yourself. You felt like you just had to sleep with everything walking. That was done by design. Yeah, for some of you, this person wanted to keep you single. They didn't want you to commit to anyone else. So they wanted to keep you in this lustful energy. Yeah, somebody really played with you here energetically. On many levels. Just to have access to the Ten of Pentacles. To your abundance. But God said, access denied. And you will leave and come right back. Because this person will pull on you so that you could come back. Make you feel like you were going to be in a state of loss if you were not with them. But the truth is, you still ended up experiencing loss while you were with them anyway. That's why you kept leaving. Because every time you went back, your finances was, was hit up pretty much. It's like you started losing money resources and so you will walk away 
and then you'll start to rebuild you'll start to gain again and then you'll go back to this person and start losing again and then you'll leave rebuild go back to this person and lose again it's like every time you went back you were depleted financially that's because this wasn't who you were meant to be with who you were meant to build with and this person didn't understand that and spirit says neither did you for some of you this person was able to um keep pulling on you energetically through sex it's like for some of you, you wouldn't stop sleeping with this person. Some of you could have also caught something from this person. Could have gotten an STD. An illness as well. Yeah. All because this person wanted to hold on to you. They wanted to be your two of cups. They wanted to be your wish fulfillment. They wanted you to commit to them. Take action and commit to them. Marry them. For someone, you did end up marrying this person. You ended up taking a major hit financially. Again, you were not meant to deal with this energy. You were meant to be with your counterpart. The person you were meant to be with has already been chosen for you. All you have to do is get on your path. That's it. And you'll run right into the energy that is destined for you. But yeah, your inheritance is protected not just anyone can have access to that no this is a part of your lineage and if you're with the wrong person not just that person will be denied but you will also be denied access to your own inheritance because of who you choose to be with so definitely choose wisely yeah, this is just a message of somebody making a wise choice. Um, and stop sleeping with this person. That's what I'm hearing. Stop sleeping with this person. Or somebody was supposed to stop sleeping with this person. Because that's how this person was able to continue pulling on you or pulling on this other energy. So yeah, somebody needed to learn self-control in order to move forward and break free of this energetic manipulation that was taking place. So, Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.